Polichinis, thank you very much for joining us. Just tell us about uh, how are you feeling as you get ready for a new season here at Ferris State? Uh, we're feeling great. You know, the energy level is really high. Our guys, uh, you know, they pay a huge price in the offseason to come out here and celebrate the, gate, the great game of football. And so ultimately, um, you know, we're just excited to be here and our energy level is awesome. Um, you know, we're just trying to grow every day. And as we're talking about the new season, entering this season, you are the number one team in the country. How does that sound to you? It really doesn't matter much to us. Uh, we're focused on, you know, just growth and, and um, you know, we don't really pay attention to those kind of things. In fact, last year, I think mid-season, we were, uh, uh, for the first time in school history, I think ranked number one. And uh, when it happened, not one single person talked about it. And nor will we talk about the rankings uh, this year as well. We're focused on just trying to get better. And can you tell me, is there a little bit, what's like the mentality going into the season as the defending uh, Division II champions? And is there uh, sort of the sense that you stress to your players that, hey, we are the defending champs, there is a target, we got to come be ready better than ever? Yeah, I talked about this a little bit yesterday with the target. Um, and I, I just say I'm, I'm the target on their backs. Uh, I'm the target on my own back. I'm the target on my coaching staff's back. I'm the, car, uh, the target on my player's back. You know, it's my job to, to push them to be the best they can be. And, and so I don't think anybody feels it. Um, that's just our culture. We've been that way uh, since we got here. And we've uh, been able to, you know, win a lot of games with uh, the same process of just putting the pressure on ourselves to be the best we can be. And not really worrying about winning or losing but putting the best foot forward. And of course, we're talking about this upcoming season and you've had a lot of success in the past, last year especially. What will it take for, what are you, will it take for your team to have the same success even, maybe possibly be better this year? Just focus on the, the same process. Um, you know, they know what it takes to, to win at a high level. Um, you know, we, we really haven't uh, failed to show up for uh, too many games in, in the last uh, seven, eight years. So our guys come ready to play. It doesn't matter who we're playing. It doesn't matter, you know, what, what conditions there are. Our guys come to play. And so that's all we need to do is focus on the process that's gotten us uh, successful and keep on, uh, keep on, you know, being gritty and having high expectations for our play. And one last question. And, uh, talk about I guess from what I heard that there's going to be a quarterback battle this uh, upcoming month uh, throughout the um, training leading into the regular season how are the QBs looking so far as you guys get ready and uh, is it still undecided as you still uh, make it um, you may, may eventually make a decision yeah um, last year truthfully we played our first game um, and I didn't know who the quarterback was going to be for the entire season I actually played four quarterbacks in that first game, um, and all of them performed really well. Um, and so we're used to, we practice with multiple quarterbacks. In fact, right now, we're practicing sharing reps with five quarterbacks, and, and so we'll see what happens. But, um, you know, it's just about just developing them all in preparation for the season, and I really don't focus on who the starter is. Um, sometimes you focus on who the finisher is, more so than the starter. And uh, so we had three players playing the national championship game at quarterback, um, and all three of them played great. And so uh, very confident in all their abilities, and, and we'll see what happens.